Hey, giving folks today in history, 1954, Ellis Island closes its doors, getting its start in 1892 uh, as the first federal processing center for immigrants, mainly coming from Europe. Um, before that, ships would pull into port up and down the, the, the East Coast, and the states would take care of immigration. Uh, under President Benjamin Harrison, uh, starting in 1890, they decided to have a federal processing center, which would be Ellis Island. Um, first and second class passengers would be interviewed aboard, uh, aboard the ship. They'd be sent over to New York, New Jersey. Um, third class passengers were held at Ellis Island for a kind of a screening process. Uh, about 98% of, uh, immigrants that came over from Ellis Island were, uh, hello dear, were, uh, allowed in about 2% were sent back. Um, over the years, it changed. It changed. First off, changed size. It went from a 3.3 acre island to about 27 acres using backfill and landfill. Um, with uh, after World War II, some changes in our immigration policies, where people could be interviewed uh, in their home country before coming over. Uh, it was used as a detention center, a de deportation center. It was used as a hospital during World War II, and um, eventually it was used as a Navy Coast Guard. 1954, it shuts down. Uh, the last person to leave was a uh, Norwegian seaman. <laughs> seaman. Uh, sorry, I'm still, uh, I'm still a child. So... Um, basically in 1954, it was, it was just left to sit in the harbor, but in 1984, there had been a petition to restore it back to, uh, its original glory. It was a huge, uh, undertaking about $160 million was, uh, set aside for the renovations and 1990, the Ellis Island Museum was established and, uh, about 2 million people every year pass through, uh, to take a look at that. And I, myself was one of those, my junior year of high school. Uh, and they have all the family names of people that came through. There is a West Coast version uh, that was Angel Island. That's a story for another day. And uh, but anyway, I went to Ellis Island. It's like my I think my sophomore junior year of high school, and I'm you know looking for uh, my mother's maiden name. Uh, couldn't find it, and couldn't find my father's uh, last name. So I was I was a little like, what's going on? So I talked to my mother, found out my family immigrated through uh, Canada, uh, where my ancestors immigrated through Canada, and they settled in New Jersey. And when I asked my father, our family, so I was like, hey, how, you know, how did the Policastros get here? And he just went, I don't know. Nobody on my dad's side of the family knows our origin story, but uh, I guess I'll find that out someday. I'll see how it goes. Everybody have a great day.